Welcome to this week's Desmond's Donders Photo Diary. Why not join us on our Donders? Welcome to this Desmond Stonders day trip and what we hope is our final day trip before the lockdown eases a little more and we can donda properly. Meanwhile a chilling day at Findon Bay Birdhide. Not our usual spot but a lovely spot nonetheless. Diary. Today we are off on a day trip to a spot near Findhorn. It is at the corner of the old RAF base at Kinloss. I served there for 11 years and there's no way I'm calling it Kinloss Barracks. We arrived and settled in, kettle on, etc. The car park was empty on arrival but there were soon others there. One in particular was upset that a camper van was on their car park. He wrote down the number of Desmond. Lindsay went out to see what was going on. I finished my over on the radio and followed her out. I tried to explain, but he was beyond listening. So I said, if he thought we were in the wrong, to call the police. He jumped in his car and drove off. And Lindsay headed for a walk to calm down, while I tried to contact some more folk on the radio for a chat and to calm down. I did forget to mention that uh, we filled up with LPG on the way down and I'd forgotten the DMR radio I wanted to use but thankfully we're close to home and Craig brought it down for me. Lindsay returned after her walk and we decided on some lunch. We were just about to start eating our lunch when who should arrive but yes the police. 
All they were interested in was that we were taxed, MOT'd and insured. And we offered to leave, but they said, not to bother, why would we? There's more about all this in the video that will be that was released on YouTube on the 1st of July. As you can imagine, Lindsay was quite upset by the instance. Me? I couldn't stop laughing about it. We finished our lunch and sat enjoying our day out. We wandered around and sat on a convenient log where I shot a time lapse and watched the wildlife. I did actually try to record my reaction to the incident, but the wind was too much so it's really unusable. Later we were joined in the car park by six VW campers who were there to kite surf. So we were well entertained. There were also some free swimmers in the bay. I just wonder what our police calling friend would have made of this. We watched the kite surfers and a boat in the bay. We then took a short walk to see the old Nimrod parked at the corner of the old airfield. It was sad to see an old friend looking abandoned. I had worked on this aircraft and travelled in her also. We headed back to the van and another cup of tea. It was after 8pm and still far too warm to eat so we decided we'd head off home and eat there. We'd had an eventful day but it was enjoyable and relaxing in the end. This may be our last day trip as with any luck we'll be free to roam next week.
Wildlife Red Admiral Large White White-tailed Bumblebee Horsefly Birds House Sparrow Carrion Crow Wood Pigeon Black-headed Gull Starling Magpie Yellowhammer Blackbird House Martin Swallow Great Black-backed Gull Oyster Catcher Grey Heron Curlew Shell Duck Herring Gull Newt Swan Osprey Skylark Sand Martin and Buzzard Thank you for watching Desmond Stoners. We'll hope you'll join us again for more photos, waffle and video as we travel around Scotland. Bye for now.